Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, and this is a banjo. This video is the first of three about research I completed with Cruz at the University of Calgary. In this video, I'm going to talk about harmonics and vibrosize data and how they tie in with my banjo. Here we go. Let's look at what harmonics are exactly. If we have a single frequency like this one, harmonics are integer multiples of that frequency. In this case, 2 times the fundamental, 3 times the fundamental, and x times the fundamental. In music, harmonics, or overtones, give musical instruments their distinctive sound. The overtone and undertones in an instrument depend on the material the notes are being struck on, or blown through, or what the instrument is made of. Here I recorded a G note with my banjo, my electric guitar, and my MIDI synthesizer. I plotted the instrument G recordings in time and frequency. I generated a pure G note to compare with my banjo, my guitar, and my MIDI synthesizer. Here are the first four banjo harmonics with subharmonics in the middle, the first four guitar harmonics with subharmonics, and synthetic G harmonics with subharmonics. You can see the banjo G peak appears best to match the pure G with the guitar and synth not lining up exactly. Curious. Harmonics in medical use starts with ultrasound, such as obstetric ultrasound, where sound waves are used to image fetuses and unborn babies. Ultrasound techniques use a transmitter to insinate tissue with sound. The reflected signal is received and used to generate an image within the received frequency range. It turns out that when tissue is insinated, harmonics are generated within the tissue itself. These extra harmonics are harnessed for imaging. The results are a fundamental image and a harmonic image, which produces a higher frequency, more detailed image of the tissue. In this case, a thyroid nodule on the right is imaged better using harmonics. Now to get to geophysics, harmonics are of concern in seismic data when using a mobile vibrator to impart a signal or sweep into the ground for seismic acquisition. Here is a small envirovibe belonging to Cruz at the University of Calgary. The vibe moves into position, drops its base plate to the surface of the earth, and begins to vibrate, sending a signal or sweep into the earth. The sweep can vary in length and frequency content depending on survey preferences. In a perfect world, the sweep, such as this nonlinear sweep with frequencies from 6 to 240 hertz, would impart only the sweep energy into the ground. However, the base plate of the vibe flexes and warps as the fundamental signal is generated. This flexing and warping creates harmonics alongside the fundamental signal. Both the fundamental and the new harmonic energy are imparted as signal into the earth. Leaving the spectrum of the sweep record at the vibe point looking more like this, where we could see up to 10 harmonics in the time frequency spectrum. Ultimately, we are only going to be interested in the first three harmonics, as they are the only ones whose strength exceeds noise beyond the sweep point. For a typical survey, the vibe truck will shake the ground between evenly spaced geophones. The signal from the vibe will reflect within the earth and the energy received at the geophones. Now, we know that as the energy moves from the vibe point, the energy dissipates as a function of the radius from the vibe point. We also know that higher frequencies, such as the frequencies associated with higher harmonics, are attenuated faster through the Earth. To observe these effects, we look at the time frequency spectrum of the geophones at near and far offset. The next series of images shows the time frequency spectrum of the traces at far offset to near offset and back again. The inset image shows the relative location of the traces with respect to the center sweep point. At far offset, we can only see the fundamental energy in the trace. As we move closer to the shot point, the fundamental energy is still dominant. However, as we get closer to the shot point, we can now see harmonic energy present above noise. At near offset, the second harmonic rises above noise for the length of the sweep. Again, the first four harmonics are well above noise. And again, on far offset, once again, only the fundamental energy begins to dominate above noise. And finally, faster from far offset to near offset and back.
These results show that harmonic energy and their higher frequency content are attenuated with offset, which will also translate into depth. To recap, harmonics are integer multiples of a fundamental frequency. The harmonics, or overtones and undertones, give musical instruments their distinctive sound. In vibrator seismic acquisition, harmonic frequencies are generated mostly by warping and flexing of the bass plate. However, these frequencies are attenuated quickly with respect to depth and offset. In my next video, I will talk about how we can separate harmonics from sweep records and what they sound like. If you like what you saw, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris, and keep rocking.